Hi, this is Claire Fielding from town and we're talking in my little slot about SIL regulations, the Community Infrastructure Levy and the problems that this has been causing for developers across the city and across the country, um, developers small, medium and large um, in terms of their cash flow. The trouble is with SIL that is, as you probably know, that the payments are all directed um, to be paid upon commencement of the development subject to, a, to, a, to an instalment policy. And while those instalment policies are flexible in terms of developments that haven't yet been started, once a development is started, it places the developer on a trajectory where they have a massive um, outgoing cash flow. I have a client, we have a client who's um, had to down tools on their construction and the, the interest bill is tens of millions of pounds a day, which is just frankly wasted money. So um, government, thank you for the proposed amended SIL regulations, which helps out small and medium sized developers. But this is a problem that applies right across the board, across the whole development industry. Um, there's no reason in section 106's we have triggers uh, at all points in the development. We can um, make payments on commencement of development. We can make payments prior to occupation of certain phases. There's no reason why the SIL regulations can't do the same so that there is an easier cash flow position for the developer. And frankly, although you've taken on board um, that there must be a problem, that you agree that there's a problem for small and medium developers. The problem is all the larger for the large developers. So I would um, encourage you to look again at the amendments to those regulations um, and, 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 and bring in some national measures either to, to extend the relaxations that are being proposed to all development sites um, or indeed to um, amend the regulations so that specific later triggers in the development can be used as the trigger for SIL payments. And that's my bit done, thank you.